In mid-September 2018, I rescued two ponies from the Dawson Creek auction where they were going to be sold to kill buyers and headed to slaughter if not purchased by someone else. One of which was a small pinto pony who I later named Simon. Upon buying these ponies, I knew nothing about them other than their approximate ages, so it was quite the surprise when Simon arrived completely feral and absolutely terrified of people. Because they were at the auction with so many other horses and we knew no history of them, both ponies had to be quarantined for two weeks, so they were put in a foaling stall together. This made it easier to attempt to handle Simon, but he was so nervous that he wouldn't let us anywhere near him, and if he felt cornered or if you tried to touch him, he would try to bite or kick. In the beginning, Simon mostly hid behind the other rescue, who we named Roulette, and he wouldn't come up to the door or anywhere near people. He would just hide from us. He didn't want to take treats from our hands, even though he really wanted the food. He was too scared of people to do it. When he did eventually start taking treats, he would take them quite aggressively because he was just so terrified. We had to really watch ourselves around Simon because if you bent down or turned your back on him, sometimes he would lunge and try to bite you or he'd try to turn and kick. It was all really defensive and not really aggressive in the sense that he wasn't out to get people. He was just trying to protect himself because he was just absolutely terrified of us. To get Simon more comfortable with people, we used a lot of positive reinforcement, which meant anytime he did anything we wanted, he was rewarded with a treat, and this worked really well with him because forcing him to do anything or making him feel really threatened just made him dangerous because he felt the need to protect himself, and it also really, really stressed him out, so we had to take it really slow and try to gradually build that relationship using positive reinforcement. As Simon started to gain confidence, he started exhibiting more of a personality and was really curious and really wanted to check things out and come closer to people, but his nerves stopped him from expressing as much of his personality as he does today, but it was really cool watching him slowly expand his comfort zone and slowly come out of his shell. To get him used to being touched by people, we started out with touching his face, and any time he would let me touch his face, I would give him a treat. Other parts of his body he was still very, very nervous of having handled, and would try to bite if people tried to go past his comfort zone. This was really cool because it was one of the first real moments that I had with him where he was genuinely curious of me and wanting to get closer, so this was kind of a bit of a breakthrough for us. To get a halter on him, I started clicker training him to put his nose through the halter and then he would immediately get a treat. So it was all entirely his own decision because if I tried to force it on, it just turned into a really stressful and dangerous situation for the both of us. So in this clip, I had gotten the halter over one ear and then he had decided that he had had enough and I couldn't get it off and I needed to go to work. So I was kind of panicking trying to get it off. I continued to work with him to get him to put his nose through the halter for a treat and it was just honestly a ton of repetition over the course of several days and practicing touching his ears and I would get it over one ear a couple times and then I couldn't get it over the other and he wouldn't let me near him after that. So it took a while. 
After a long two weeks of quarantine, the ponies finally got out. They did get outside of the stall during quarantine, but it was only a small area as it had to be the area that was sectioned off for quarantine. So this is their first time out of the stall in the arena and they got to have a little bit of run around. And this was also the first time that I had seen either of them move quicker than a walk. So it was really cool because I got to see that they were actually both sound. After quarantine, we separated them both because Roulette was going to be turned out over the winter on a big field since she was halter broke and good with people, and Simon needed to be separated and near the round pen so I could do more work with him to get him halter broke and easier to handle. After a few days of round penning and continuing to clicker train him to put his nose through the halter, I finally got a halter on him. He still was not halter broke, so I had to build chutes to move him anywhere, and this is what I had to do for quite a while before we got him halter broke. Now that he had a halter on, I introduced him to my other rescue horse, Milo, and then they got to go out in a bigger turnout together because he was haltered so it would be easier to handle and catch this way, so I wasn't as concerned about having him in a smaller area. To start him on halter breaking, I left the rope on him while he was supervised so he could step on it and learn how to release pressure on his own. Simon and Milo became fast friends and Simon eventually was comfortable enough to lie down in the field because he felt safe. The next thing to tackle was cutting Simon's mane because it had so many knots in it that would have been impossible to get out, so I cut his hair hunter jumper style. I continued to work on halter breaking Simon by teaching him to move forward off of pressure on the halter for a treat. I couldn't put the butt rope on him like you normally would to teach a horse to be halter broke because he was still very, very nervous of people around his hind end and it would be dangerous for someone to go behind there and do that and he would just get more upset. So the way I taught him was a little unconventional, but it did work. When I got my new thoroughbred off of the racetrack, him and Simon quickly became best friends. As Simon got better with being halter trained, I started teaching him how to tie. So I did this by tying him to a piece of breakaway twine whenever I did tie him so that if he did freak out, he could break free. But luckily that never happened and he took tying super, super well. To ensure that Simon gets the daily handling he needs, I started getting in the habit of petting him every time I fed him. So whenever he got his hay cubes morning and night, I would handle him, and I still do this now. Over the last couple of months, Simon has continued to come out of his shell. I have been working on getting him used to wearing saddle pads by rubbing him down with plastic bags, towels or folded pads and this has also been what we've been doing to eventually get him used to blanketing. Simon has become extremely playful with the other horses and he loves dinner time. He really likes the routine and always comes up to the fence nickering when he sees people coming out, probably mostly because of the food but he does still look forward to seeing people even though he is still nervous today. It'll be a process getting him completely okay around people, but he has already improved leaps and bounds. I no longer really have to worry about the aggression with Simon as he doesn't feel anywhere near as defensive, but we are still careful and cautious in how we handle him to try to make him feel the most comfortable. I've also started ponying him off of my other horse to get him some exercise as well as improve his leading skills, and eventually I would like to be able to take him on trails like this. My mom loves working with Simon too, so she's been doing a lot of stuff with him recently as we continue to get him better working with the halter as well as more comfortable being handled all over his body. The eventual goal is going to be to get him started under saddle in the new year, but he is a ways away from that still as we want him to be really comfortable with it before we start on that. Recently, we were able to get a blanket on him, which is a huge milestone because he is quite nervous of having things over top of him, but I'm really happy that we were able to do this and now he's going to be toasty warm for the winter.
So that is the story of Simon so far and his transformation over the last couple of months. I hope that we continue down this positive path of getting him more comfortable around people and teaching him what it is to be a pony in captivity and that people aren't going to hurt him. And I encourage you all to consider adopting as a viable source for your new horse or pony because it is so rewarding and it has been a lot of fun. So that's my recommendation if you're in the position where you can handle a bit of a training project because especially with auctions or buying out of the kill pen you really don't know what you're going to get but it is so rewarding and then you save a life.